right, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We're gonna do the Tetris theme song now. It's kind of a fiddle tune, like an Eastern European fiddle tune. Actually, the melody is based on a Russian folk song called Korobaniki. I'm definitely saying that wrong, or about 90% sure that it's wrong. Um, so Korobaniki, something like that. And uh, anyway, the Tetris tune has kind of a B part added to it, this simple little B part. I'm gonna show you two, so it almost is like a fiddle tune, okay? So we'll do the whole thing, and then we'll break it down. I'll play the whole thing, and then we'll break it down part by part, note by note, after that. Okay, let's do the whole song. Um, I'm trying to think of a good scale you could do with this. I think that's A, e -O -A Aeolian. So, but I think you could do a C major. Um, I don't know. I think either that's probably like A Dorian or A Aeolian. I'm gonna tab that in the descriptions below. Hopefully I remember it. If I forget, write me a message, but I'm gonna to try to remember to tab out A, Aeolian, open one, low two, three, open E, E, low one, low two, three. So let's play the first quarter of the A part. Okay, so that starts open E. And then all on A, we're gonna go one, low two, three, low two, one, open, up and down. So we have. Then we end with open A, low two, open E. For those of you keeping score at home, that's an A minor triad. The whole first quarter of the A part. Okay, let's move on to the second quarter of the A part. With more flow. Breaking it down a little bit. A3, low two, one. A little pause, then low two, three. Open E. Ending on A, low two, open twice. Whole second quarter. Okay, let's move on to the third quarter of the A part. So with a little more flow. Okay. And breaking that down, we start A3, E low one, three, three. And then low two, one open. So, so far we have. After that, we go A low two, open E twice. 
and then A3 low 2. Again. Before that we had then putting it together. Okay, let's move on to the fourth chord of the A part. with more flow. So A1, low 2, 3, then open E. Then A, low 2, open, open. Excellent. So um, let's go over the entire A part. I recommend that if there's any part at all that you're unsure of, pause and practice those parts right now. There's the entire A part. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do the B part now. Um, I think it's a little simpler. There's a, a technical challenge in it. You need to know raise third finger. And so if you haven't done that or you feel uncomfortable with it, you may want to just stick with the A part for now, which is really the main part of the tune. Um, so I'm going to play the first quarter of the B part. more flow. Alright, I forgot to mention, if you're new to Fiddlehead, there are left hand fingerings in the description below, which can help you if you, you know, if you want to use that. Um, so this is just open E twice. It's all like double notes, and we'll do it a little differently as a variation afterward. I'll suggest some variation. E. A low two twice, a three, a one. Okay, let's move on to the second quarter. So with more flow. All right, so. It's A low 2, twice, open A, D high 3, A1. So if you are new to third finger or want to try it and really get this, this is a great opportunity. You can make up an exercise from the tune with this. So let's do that right now. Basically, this is just a great, this little part of the tune, the second chord of the B part, is a great way to practice third finger. So we're just gonna loop on it as a little exercise, okay? So we're gonna just do that whole thing. And you may find that that A3, that I means so it's D high three, is still really hard. So it's so then what you may want to do is just do a smaller thing, like instead of that whole all, those four notes, just do like A to D high three. 
So when you're making up your own exercises, maybe they need to be smaller, maybe they need to be bigger. If you make them smaller, you kind of focus a little bit more. It's like focusing a microscope. And maybe then you can practice going D high three to A one. That's pretty hard. Let's go back to the second quarter. The third quarter of the B part is exactly the same as the first. So I'm just gonna play it again to, to remind you. Now let's do the fourth quarter of the B part. So this starts, I'll do it with more flow actually. And so it's A low two twice, open twice, like the second quarter. And then it ends a little different than the second quarter. It's gonna go the high three, A one, open E. Another good little exercise. Okay, so now we've got the entire B part. You may want to pause and practice. If you think you got it, then we're just going to play through the whole thing. Okay, so that's pretty much it on this tune. Um, some fun little variations I'm just gonna throw out at you that are, are not too hard to add to the B part. Or you can, instead of doing two notes, like two quarter notes, you could do four eighth notes. You could also do another variation of hoedown. Another fun one I came up with was to alternate hoedown with four notes, with four eighth notes. So something like. Something like that. The final one was just to do um, 16th notes, which are even tw twice as fast like. Basically, eight notes on each note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so on. Have fun with it. It's a fun tune. Impress your friends. Just tell them you know the Tetris theme. They're gonna just, their jaw will drop. I promise you. No, I don't promise you. I have no idea how they'll react. Anyway, glad you made it to the end of another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. It's been fun. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.